And good evening, everyone. We begin tonight without breaking news. A teenager says that she is dragged from a McDonald's into the woods and stabbed multiple times. And tonight, the person who did this still on the run. The attack happening at 108th and Bishop on the city's south side. The teenage girl was able to run to a nearby home for help. And ABC 7's John Garcia joining us now live. John, you spoke with a woman who helped that girl. Yeah, she may have very well helped save her life. That woman called paramedics who were able to bring the girl to Christ Hospital here in very serious condition. The girl told police that she had run away from home, but police were able to contact her family who have since reunited with her here at the hospital. Police work the scene looking for evidence at the spot where the road ends leading to a remote wooded area. This is where the 15 year old girl says a man stabbed her multiple times before she was able to get away and run to the nearest residence. I opened the door, she come running in, she was screaming, hollering, and I noticed she was bleeding everywhere. Tracy Carey says the girl told her she was a runaway. She said she met a man earlier in a McDonald's restaurant at 114th and Halstead around lunchtime. That man then drove her to the wooded area and attacked her. Police say they have determined no motive at this point. Neighbor Reggie Dunlap first noticed the blood and says he got concerned. He said she was stabbed over 10 times and he tried to rape her and kill her. Carrie says the girl appeared to be in shock and badly hurt, but remained conscious and was able to talk to her. She gave some information about her family, but nothing about the man who attacked her. Paramedics transported her to the hospital in serious condition. I was trying to keep her calm so I could stay calm, and she was just in a panic, and I made her sit down because she was bleeding really bad. We've never had anything like this before, and it's absolutely terrible. It shook me up, actually. Well, because she's a juvenile, the hospital has been unable to provide any update on the girl's condition tonight. Police tell me they have no suspects in custody. They're hoping to get a little bit more information about the suspect, however, once they're able to talk further with this girl. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.